हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू यू न्यू वीडियो दिस इज़ ए स्पेशल वीडियो बिकॉज वी गोट ए गेस्ट हु इज़ ए फर्स्ट फार्म डी बैच ग्रेजुएट हु इज़ वर्किंग इन ए रेप्यूटेड फार्मेसी कॉलेज बेस्ड इन हैदराबाद सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम आई विल गिव द माइक टू हिम ही विल इंट्रोड्यूस हिमसेल दिस इज़ ए स्पेशल वीडियो बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दोज हु आर एस्पायरिंग टू बी ए फैम डी ग्रेजुएट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम आई एम गिविंग टू सर सो सर प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस यू Uh, hello everyone uh, so myself uh, dr bala murali i am uh, basically a first uh, farm d uh, passed out uh, graduate and i have completed my farm d in annamala university chidambaram tamil nadu from that time onwards i am working in a college here in hyderabad and i am uh, the hod for the pharmacy practice department so i am almost uh, having 10 years of experience in academics so when it comes to farm do you know there are lot of confusions and and students are like uh, i'm getting lot of messages whether i should go for farm do whether the money worth or not you know 6 uh, years of investment and about the doctor prefix and lot of things are going on moreover because i don't have much info about farm do also because i completed b farm and you know i completed m farm and i have a gray like a broad picture only about farm d so because that's why we brought a person who is a veteran in farm d and he can give you more information so i am suggesting that i am recommending that you should watch this video completely then only you will get the maximum out of this video so we will go like uh, what are the basic things you must know i will ask those question and sir will try to give the best reply okay so first of all uh, i am i am going with the basic question so could you please give a brief idea about farm d first okay uh, first of all uh, thank you mr uh, shamir uh, for inviting me for this uh, video yes as you have mentioned uh, many of uh, the students who are aspiring to join in farm d so they might be hearing so many positives as well as negatives uh, from here and there from many people so i think uh, really as you have mentioned it will be uh, very good for them for those kind of people who are uh, who are willing to join in farm d with this video yes so without uh, wasting again the same uh, way without wasting much time so as mr shamir asked me so a brief about farm d so farm d basically it's a six year uh, course it's like a post graduate course uh, integrated post graduate course in this uh, farm d we will be having five years of theory or academics kind of thing and the last one year will be internship period where students will have to work in a hospital and uh, in this uh, course you will be learning many things which are uh, almost closer to the mbbs uh, people or uh, doctors but mainly in this course we will be concentrating on the drugs so that's why usually uh, farm d graduates will also be called as drug experts okay. yes so that is the basic uh, thing about uh, farm d course yeah so there are confusion like uh, students who completed m farm pharmacy practice and you know uh, students are getting into b farm or uh, after b farm they are getting into farm d also so some students are like whether i should go for m farm pharmacy practice or uh, i should go for pb entry so what do you recommend for that it's a good question uh, shamir so actually here uh, different things so what i can suggest is if the student is really looking for an alternative for mbbs like because most of the people who select farm d they will be from bpc background who are uh, who have tried for uh, mbbs uh, seat and all who have missed they will be joining this course because as every one of you have listened this is one of the course which is equivalent to mbbs which is almost equal to mbbs or the best alternative course yes that is true it is the best alternative so what i can say is if the student is really aspiring for a healthcare profession if he really wants to be uh, with patient then after intermediate they can uh, really join directly in farm d but some of the students as uh, shamir mentioned even uh, in my college also or in my experience also 
I have seen some people after joining bee pharmacy, they will be getting interest. They will be knowing about PharmD. Then they will be uh, like uh, liking that course. They want to join that. So then also no problem. They can come for the lateral entry. So there is an option of lateral entry for bee pharmacy students. After four years of bee pharmacy, they can straight away come to the fourth year of PharmD. So not from first year again. So they can join in the fourth year of PharmD. They have to do for three years. So after B pharmacy four years later, they can join in PharmD lateral entry that will be called as post baccalaureate program and they'll be joining in the fourth year of PharmD. They'll be doing that PharmD PB post baccalaureate for three years. So there is one more course also as uh, you are you all know that M Pharm pharmacy practice. So actually saying M Pharm pharmacy practice is the course which started before than PharmD in our country. Almost in 1996, first time our uh, government has started this M Pharmacy branch, M Pharm Pharmacy practice. It is a two year course basically. After completing B Pharmacy, you can join in that. That option is also there. Many good colleges are offering pharmacy practice uh, programs, well reputed universities, government colleges, private colleges, everything like this. But where the difference comes? between M Pharm pharmacy practice and uh, the PharmD six year integrated courses. So as this is a six year long course, almost from second year, the student will be getting practical knowledge. Student will be sending to hospital for practical knowledge. He will be dealing with the case sheets. He will be reading about everything in the case sheets. He'll start interacting with the patients, doctors. So almost in PharmD integrated program for five years, students will be in hospital. They will be exposed for hospital activities for five years. Whereas in M Pharm only for two years. In that two years also, right maybe after first semester so maximum of three semesters that means one and a half year they will be getting practical knowledge so what is my suggestion is if anyone is really interested to work in hospital setup close to the patients are looking for the best alternative of mbbs yes you can select pharmd straight away after pharmd after intermediate sorry but of course there are as i have mentioned there are options if you are really interested after B pharmacy also you can do for the lateral entry post baccalaureate program or you can go for M Pharm pharmacy practice also. But I always suggest direct entry into PharmD because for long six long years you will be studying, you will be getting more exposure, more practical exposure than compared to the lateral entry people or M Pharm pharmacy practice people. Yes. So as you mentioned that uh, in BFARM uh, for M Pharm pharmacy practice, so it will be like after BFARM, the things are a bit diluted, you know, they will be studying a lot of other things uh, apart from the PharmD curriculum, little more extra they will uh, study. Then after that, they are going to M Pharm pharmacy practice. Then after one year or uh, six months, they will go for internship. So what he mentioned is a main point is they are getting less exposure because you are going to deal with patients. The more you deal with patients, the more more knowledge you gain and then only you can you know excel in the field otherwise it's of no use if you don't have any practical knowledge and exposure this PharmD and all are it's of no use so that is a major difference you know that is the contrast between M Pharm pharmacy practice and uh, PharmD because from the second year onwards they are they are getting exposed to patient hospital cases all the, these kind of things so when it comes to the Third question, I want to bring a, a controversial topic, kind of a controversial topic about this uh, doctor prefix, you know, uh, most of the people are like whether they are PhD, uh, PhD people or uh, whether they are PharmD or MBBS. So what do you reckon and what do you think about that and what is your explanation about that? I would like to hear and the uh, audience also would like to listen from you, sir. Uh, sure, uh, Mr. Shamir. Again, uh, this is one of the major doubt for many people and we are also hearing constantly many controversies on this. So first coming to the point, as I have mentioned previously, this is one of the best alternative for MBBS program. Why I am mentioning that is, see, in other countries, of course, in our country, it is not fully grown or fully developed but in other countries already PharmD is existing almost from last 60 to 70 years and a PharmD professional will be part of the healthcare team 
हेल्थ केयर टीम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए फिजिशियन राइट ए फार्मासिस्ट विच इज नथिंग बट ए फार्म डी ग्रेजुएट ए नर्स एंड द अदर काइंड ऑफ पीपल सो ऑल दिस पीपल दे विल वर्क एज ए टीम एंड विल प्रोवाइड ए बेटर आउटपुट बेटर हेल्थ केयर टू द पेशेंट्स सो एज वी आर लर्निंग सो मच एज वी आर बींग कॉल्ड एज ड्रग एक्सपर्ट्स आई डोंट थिंक दैट कीपिंग डॉक्टर इज नॉट ए बैड आइडिया सो वी हैव टू वी शुड वी शुड हैव दैट पॉजिबिलिटी एंड वी शुड add a prefix of doctor in front of us that's why pharmacy council of india pci has given a circular very clearly the farm d after completing farm d so they can keep doctor as a prefix in front of their name but of course there are many controversies many issues happened in our country but still right now so as a farm d graduate i can tell you this uh, very clearly i have uh, got so after completing farm d basically we have to register in pharmacy council every state in our country will have a separate pharmacy council we have to register in that then only we will be called as a registered pharmacist so that when we register for that in state pharmacy council they will provide you a certificate by adding doctor in front of your name right so officially the government itself is giving doctor as a prefix and pharmacy council of india which is like head of this course it is also given clearly a circular they can keep doctor as a prefix so we are we are not less so as we are studying so much as we are also involved in healthcare t healthcare team we can as yes, of course we can add doctor uh, prefix nothing wrong in that this is my suggestion but it is ultimately again uh, one's own uh, interest or one's own opinion yeah this is one thing uh, you know it is lacking there is you know uh, other uh, the authorities have, have given the permission to keep that and the certificate is coming with the doctor prefix so without a shadow of doubt you can go with that because even i was not knowing about this okay yes. that's why i brought this question actually and uh, uh, the other thing is uh, the next question is we are going to discuss about the importance of college and faculties and hospital see because uh, we are if we are getting done our farm d from a college how much important it is and what about the hospital the patient flow and you know the faculty what kind of uh, uh, qualification how much qualified the faculties are so these kind of things matters or uh, how it will come to when it comes to farm d yes so again uh, i'll consider this as the most important of all why because see choosing farm d as i have mentioned as an alternative for mbbs is a good option second thing is that which college we have to choose so this is also very very important why because right now if you see the list of the colleges which are offering uh, farm d in india there are almost 270 colleges in the two telugu states andhra pradesh and telangana nearly 120 to 150 pharmacy colleges are there which are offering farm d course so out of these many colleges how we can select and why it is so important is see as i have mentioned from second year student will be going to the hospital so that's why the first important thing you have to choose you have to see is the college which is having a very good hospital very good hospital in the sense which has a very good decent patient flow because if patients are there then only you will get a chance to learn because in farm d you will be learning about almost all the diseases treatment of those things every drug almost which is available in the market as i mentioned we will become drug experts so to become drug experts first of all we should be exposed we should get that kind of exposure so where we will get exposure obviously where we have patient flow so select a hospital or a select a college which is having mou or which is having affiliation with a good hospital which is having a decent patient flow then only you can learn the things second thing is faculty so when i joined in farm d there are no faculty who there are no people who have completed farm d so the other uh, courses people m farm pharmacy pharmaceutics pharmacology those kind of people only used to taught us so they taught us very well 
even now also for for few subjects in farm d we are recommending only the m farm specialized people but what i want to tell you is right now so in 2008 when pci has started this farm d course so it was very new for this country in 2014 first batch came out so i am the first batch student from 2014 this is 2024 in this 10 years many farm d graduates has come out of the colleges many farm d graduates are working as a teachers in the colleges in very good colleges they are in different positions so now we have the people who have really studied farm d and they are ready to teach you guys so second thing what we have to see in colleges is what about the faculty so how many farm d faculty are there along with the m farm specialization people that is another thing obviously we have to see because that is very important only a farm d graduate can really tell you right what exactly you want that doesn't mean the m farm people will not tell you right but as i am saying that we are in some course if we have the people from the same course it will be very good for us so that's why the second thing is choosing the college which is having good faculty in that also first preference we should give for the farm d faculty how many farm d completed people are working in that college yes thank you for a detailed explanation that i think that will suffice the requirement and about that query it will be suffice the uh, answer also and then when it comes to the career aspects uh, about uh, job as well as phd option so is it possible for a phd after uh, farm d like because this is an integrated program after that a phd people are uh, people are pursuing or what is the trend nowadays and what are the apart from clinical pharmacists most of the people know that uh, there is a clinical pharmacist because you guys are uh, drug experts and you know you have the profound knowledge about drug so apart from clinical practice what is the trend nowadays uh, so where these students graduates are going after completion of their farm d so what is your Uh, take on that yes uh, after completing farm d yes we have uh, many options many career options in that one thing first i'll mention as he has mentioned clearly about phd i'll give clarification about that yes after completing farm d as it is a integrated post graduation course after completing farm d you are straight away eligible to join phd so now the point is who can choose phd Um, among many options who can choose phd that is the main uh, question here so the people who are really interested to go into research side into research area into clinical research into clinical trials or who are really interested to go into academics as professors so i recommend that phd is one of the best option and straight away after farm d you can uh, you can appear for many entrance examinations in in our country or in other countries also directly you can go and join for phd program second thing is apart from phd what are the other things that we have after farm d so basically as we are completely learning about drugs as we are being called as drug experts and the one position which we are here actually is for clinical pharmacist so after completing farm d this is the first priority or the first position what every farm d graduate has to be that is clinical pharmacist so you might have heard about community pharmacist retail pharmacist hospital pharmacist so this is a new thing of course not a very new thing because this course has started already way long back 2008 so it is not new but still many people doesn't know this one cadre is existing clinical pharmacist yes in 2014 when i came out this cadre is not that much it is not uh, present in many hospitals but now in 2024 i can tell you that many hospitals reputed hospitals are recruiting farm d graduates as clinical pharmacists in their hospitals and with a very good decent salary package so the clinical pharmacist is the one thing what actually we are doing farm d so that is the job where we 
will be involved in the patients completely. We will be working along with the doctors. We will be doing prescription audit. We'll be checking for the mistakes, if any, in the prescription. By discussing with the doctors, we will try to sort them out. And finally, we as a team, along with the physicians, we will try to give the best for the patient. Then after clinical pharmacist, we have plenty of opportunities which are increasing year by year. So if you take some MNCs, top MNCs also, multinational companies, there we can work as a pharmacovigilance in pharmacovigilance department, PharmD graduates are eligible. As a clinical research associate in MNCs again or in some uh, pharmaceutical companies which are carrying out these clinical trials and in clinical trials also along with MBBS people we can we can be recruited as a principal investigator along with MBBS people we can be recruited as principal investigator so like this we have plenty of opportunities in PhD right in the academics as a teacher or in the multinational companies as i said as a farm in, in the pharmacovigilance department or as a clinical research associate clinical trial expert clinical trial investigator and in the hospital of course that is the main thing as a clinical pharmacist apart from all these things still we have plenty of the things where a b farm guy where the m farm people can work we can also work in most of the places maybe in some industrial related things we are we will not set because our course is completely clinical oriented so we are studying this to work in a hospital along, along with the doctors with the patients to provide a better health care so we may not fit in a very few industrial opportunities but Along with all these PharmD specific opportunities, we can do jobs in those areas where the M farm people, B farm people are already working in that. For example, I can tell you medical writing, right? Quality and assurance, R&D, like this, in those kind of places also we can fit. And uh, even in the government, the government setup also, so our government of India is uh, doing a program which is called as Pharmacovigilance Program of India, PVPI. So in that, PharmD people are the top priority. So they will be are giving notification every year for the positions of clinical research investigator or investigator who can do vigilant activities. So whatever the drugs that are releasing into the market, right, we will be inspecting them, we'll be checking for the problems with those drugs, side effects, drug interaction kind of things. So we are one of the best options again for that PVPI program. And we are eligible for drug inspector thing also. And very recently, just a few months back, ICMR, right, Indian Council of Medical Research, has given a paper, uh, add a notification and all that PharmDs are eligible to work as a research scientist along with them. So along with MBBS people or along with the MPharm pharmacology specialization people, even PharmDs can also be recruited as a research scientist in ICMR kind of institutions. So like this year by year, many career opportunities are growing for PharmD. So as I am the PharmD graduate, I am seeing the exponential growth of PharmD from 2014. In 2014, nothing was there, I'm telling you very frankly, but in 2024, after 10 years, now I can tell you very proudly that there are plenty of opportunities. Many of my students are working in all these different areas, what I have mentioned till now. Yes. Thank you for that such a detailed explanation. I think that will suffice the question because, you know, he has explained everything. And nowadays, you know, government is also giving acceptance and uh, whatever the government jobs or PSC, whatever it may be, uh, PharmD graduates are eligible. That's what he mentioned. Whatever a M-Farm and b -farm can guy can do, that is also possible with a PharmD, PharmD graduate.